Hi everyone, my name is Barbara. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to insert symbols into Excel. We're going to look at three ways to do it. The long-winded way, which is just insert the insert tab and insert symbols option. I'm going to show you how to use some shortcuts using the ASCII decimal code. And we're also going to set up a sneaky autocorrect so Excel will automatically insert your symbol for you when you use a combination of keys. So let's get started. So the first way is to just do a basic insert symbol. It's probably the longest way to do it, but it's straightforward. So you go to your insert tab and go all the way along to the symbol section and select symbol. You will then see all of the symbols that are available to you within your font that you're currently using. So for example, let's select the copyright symbol. You can then copy and paste it if you use it a lot or if you want to then insert another one, hit insert symbols and let's select to the power of and insert that. So that is how you insert manually symbols into Excel. Now, the second way is to actually make use of the ASCII decimal code. So every symbol in Excel is assigned a decimal code and if you type that code in the symbol appears so if you have a look at the trademark symbol it's 153 copyright is 169 and the division symbol is 247 so where do you find these codes so if we go back to our insert tab and the symbols section you'll see you want to make sure that this is selected to decimal code so if we select two so if we select to the power of you can see that the character code for that is 178 and the copyright code is 169 and trademark is 153. So we can make use of those codes and type a shortcut. So let's say we want to use the uh, to the power of or the exponent to the power of two and let's just select the cell we want to put it into. So the way to use these codes is you hold down the alt key and then you must type zero before the code and uh, 0178 release the alt key and there you have it. There's your code. So it would mean that you've got to remember the codes, but if you use something a lot, you would probably get used to it, especially if you use copyright coding, like a script or something like that. And that would be alt 0169. That's the second. Let's take it a step further. How about if we get Excel to automatically insert that symbol if we type a combination of keys and we can use the autocorrect for that so where do we set up autocorrect okay well we go into file and we go to more and options and the proofing area and then select autocorrect so you'll see already in your excel if there's anything already set up so in this one if we typed bracket c bracket the copyright symbol comes. Trademark one is TM surrounded by brackets. That's quite handy. Let's set up the exponent or the to the power of two. So let's say that I, whenever I type two and the up arrow, which involves me holding the control key and up arrow, I want that to insert Alt 0178, which is to the power of. Don't forget to hit add and OK. Let's test it out. Hit OK again. Let's test it out. So two and the up arrow and it's working. Anytime I enter two and the up arrow, Excel will automatically insert the to the power of. So that's three ways to insert symbols into your Excel worksheet using the insert symbol options uh, on the insert tab and insert symbol, select your symbol using the shortcuts. Do remember to hold down the alt key and type zero before you put the code in or actually set up a nice little auto correct in Excel. So anytime you select a certain sequence of keys, Excel will automatically insert your symbol for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you find it useful. If you did, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload a new Excel video. Thanks for watching.